Hi friends. Uh, good evening everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you about how to get the gross price of service line item in SAP. This is the logic. First of all, I will show you the purchase order number. Let's take this view. I have taken the service PO. In service PO, we know this, uh, this is the item and we have here we have the services. Under services, we can have multiple lines. So you want to know the logic to get this 500 euros. So how to get that? In this video, I'm going to teach you. So what is the logic to get that? First, pass that PO number and the PO item in EKPO table and get the package number. So this package number needs to be received first from EKPO table. Then pass the package number in ESLN table and get the sub package number. We have to get the sub pack number from ESLN table. Then pass the sub pack number as earlier we have the package number, right? Pass package, whatever you got this sub pack number, right? Pass the package as pack number and line number under ext row. The line number means in the PO, what you are seeing, this is the line number. Pass in ESLL, same ESLL table and get the grass price. The grass price is the one which we are expecting to get it. So let's test this one. I think if the color is too, too bright, maybe we can make it. And I was taking the black color. I felt this color will be visible, but it looks too dominant. Okay, so we can keep this. So let's go to the SAP. This is the PO. This is the PO number. I want to get this value. How to get it? Go to SS16N EK PO table. The PO number. This is the PO number. And if you have multiple items, you can pass the item number or else you can keep it. Let's take it item number also. PO and PO item number. I'm just replicating what we have given in the PPT. Now you get the package number PSC 7254. This is the package number. Now go to SC16N ESLL table. Okay. Here in ESLL table, pass the package number and get the sub pack number. This is what I mentioned, right? sub pack number you have to get this sub package number you got this sub pack number seven two double five now go to same esll table and pass the sub pack number as pack number that's what i have told seven two double five and line number 10 so that is a pure line number right 10 and execute it. So you will get the gross price 500 euros under BRT WR. So that's what I provided. Pass PO number, EBLN, and item in EKPO to get the package number. Then pass the package number in ESLL table to get the sub package. You can get sub pack number. That's what you can remember. Again, we have to use the same ESLL table, but this time you have to pass the sub pack number as pack number and line item number EXTROW in ESLL table and get the grass price. This is the way how you can write the logic and give to a BAP if you want to fetch this grass price for any of your form or report or any other logic, you can use this way to how to practice or how to give the logic to a BAP. First you test it, 
if the values are properly coming, then you put it in your function specification. I hope this video has helped you to learn about uh, new logic and also how to practice by using different tables and how the values you should ensure first. Then only, even if you get a same answer in a Google or any SCN website, anywhere, if you get it, first you test it, you see the result. If everything is fine, then only you put it in function specification. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.